up guys? This is Patrick Seas with the Soul Good team for the final and fourth episode of YEG Soul. We got a little bit something different for you. We're here at Foosh. First we're going to take a look at the store itself with the homie Jesse. Then we're going to sit down with Justin himself and take a look at his collection. Brand in the wall section there. Now you guys are known particularly for your in-house designs to kind of put on a, the world map if you will. Yeah. And then you said you got the collectibles as well, those are up front. We the biggest retailer in the city. Like I know other stores stock their stuff, but I don't think anybody really does on this scale. Like we get in all those limited eight inches, the cool art pieces, stuff like that. That's great. And then you guys got the sneaker wall here, of course. Yeah. Thanks for showing us around the shop. And uh, right now we're going to take it back to Key and Jim. They're going to be in the back talking to Justin about his collection. Yo, it's your boy Jim Duggan coming to you from Soul Good. We got Key here, we got Patrick behind nice. the camera, and we're going to go check out Justin Fuchs' collection. So come with us. What's up, man? How are you? Good, good, good. Good. What's up? Uh, why don't you just give us a quick run through of what you got here, what you might be bringing? I got a bunch of stuff here. I got a lot of old school SBs, some Adidas, some old Jordans, but mostly SBs. And then over here, I just got like just some Air Maxes and some Stabs and stuff like that. Right? Oh, Probably five. multi fives out there. Oh. Sure. Worn. Worn. I had to wear these. That's what you're wearing in like your what was it? Spikes or whatever? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Where you had your long hair. We're standing here with Justin Foosh, he's the co-owner of Foosh, a corner store of Edmonton's streetwear and uh, hip-hop community. And we're just going to take another quick look at some of his more beloved pairs and maybe get a story behind them or why they're important to him. Cool, well uh, let's start with uh, these ones here, they're called like, well they're called the Jedi's. Probably like one of my first pairs of SBs that I bought, it's got the you know, fluorescent laces, the Classic brown and green colorway gum sole. I think this was like 95, uh, sorry, 2005. They're really built different. Yeah, more solid. Like no, honestly, different. Yeah, really the real material on this. Yeah, and even the way the sole breaks off to the gum here. These ones here. Oh, these ones here, the bison. 
again, sucker for suede. Yeah, me, me too. too. Me too. Too. The browns, you know, the gum again. Yeah, the suede on this is super nice. Next up, the sabotages. Again, beautiful colorway, good construction, got the lace protection. It's something totally different back in the day. It's beautiful. Like, a lot of my collection, like from the SB stuff, is actually from like 2000 to 2000, I'm sorry, 2005 to 2010. Um, oh, one of my faves. Yes. Dunkle, yes. is what they call it. It's, you know what, there's no words, so, you know, just, there's no words. They don't make shoes like this. Like for Tura, come on, you know yes. what I mean? Like, they did this um, back in the day, Lunar and then Lunar Eclipse, so they had this shoe and then they flipped it. I think I have the other color. Lunar black. So yeah, right, right there. So this was the flip. So it actually came as a package. Lunar and the uh, yeah, lunar. The clips or the camera the color. But yeah, that was the flip. This will just be spoken. Some parts on these are such good quality. Yeah. I actually had the flip of the ray gun too, but I think it's sold. Again, clear, patented, suede, synthetic. I don't know. So I like this. I come from the area there, like when it's kind of working for the SBs and the AF1s, and they just had all these. Yeah, different materials. I don't know. Like, now it's all posies and different. Yeah. yeah. You know, like back then it was like more about the artist and just something pretty neat, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. It's a design thing, like let someone design it, a lot of yeah. like, uh, collectible toys or something like that. Exactly. Exactly. Us head. Yeah. This is the first one they did, right? Yeah, 2005. Like this, like this one's pretty rad, like it's got the quilted lining on the inside, yes. the um, insole, Stamped again, you know, it's got the crazy, crazy, crazy insole. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Got them both. Sure. Well, let's change the game. This 2006. Yeah, this yeah. changed it right here. Yeah. The tiffs. This is my first time just thinking this goes in person. Yeah, wow. And then the newly released highs. Side by side, we can see the difference on the yeah. For sure. I don't know if even a lot of kids are aware how like this was almost like part of the invention of hype. You know, like these shoes are kind of like well between him and Diamond, and yeah. Some of those crossovers with the invention of like that, that just getting stuff because it's hype. It's this is an artist cross. These are nice shoes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> at the at that time, Diamond supply is like very low. Like yeah. No, no, yeah. not too much people know that brand. After uh, after this, they're getting bigger and bigger. Big up Fairfax. Yeah, and that's when they did like a whole lot of collabs with like shops too. Like yeah. Like a pair of uh, DQMs. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Air Maxes. Ooh. Oh, you know. That's my kind. Yeah. Wow. I can't remember the story behind these ones though. I think. Had something to do with bacon. Oh yeah. If I remember, do your research. Yeah. Find out for me. Yeah, DQM Nike Air Max. Yeah, I'm pretty sure had AM90. The, the colorway had something to do with bacon, and then Puff, of course, they did. Or I wore the crap out of these. Uh, yeah. These are my favorite. You know, again, the like look at that. So dirty, I wore them, but they held up. Yeah, it looks better after they're worn. Yeah, yeah right? especially like with the crinkled leather. Yeah, and that, with the tie dye. Yeah, 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 you know, it really lends itself to that. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this feels like literally it feels like materials that they do put on like uh, four hundred, five hundred dollar high end boots too. Yeah. yeah. The material reminds me of those uh, Fear Fives. Yes, it is really like the Fear Fives. Yeah. Yeah, and they just drop another like tie dye collection of the SBs. Have the very similar print on a. This one, have the leather on this is definitely much much better. They come with those. What's this one? Oh, here. No words. There, you guys can. Oh yeah. That's genius. 
This is a time where like full metallic shoes was definitely unique. I know this year they'd be going in on the metallic yeah. shoes and different things, but this is not something that was. Remember this one? Stussy Blazer. Oh wow, I wish I. Yeah. So it's like carpeted oh, in yes. Chanel material. It's the Stussy Blazer. Which year? This is pretty old too. This came with the same, like, I think this came up before the Reebok tennis Ooh. one. Mm -hmm. If you remember that one. Yeah. That had the same material. It had the, the tennis ball material. Yeah. Yeah, this is dope. The interior is dope too. This is like literally carpet on. I don't know how this came into my collection, but it just ended up here somehow. This is the Air Max Powerwall. Tier Zero. It's not a very good looking shoe, but it's super, super rare. No, I can see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah it's... But yeah, search it. Powerwall. It's, uh... Rare. One of less than a couple hundred, eh? Yeah. I think 144 out of 144. One out of 144? Yeah. We've been here talking with the homie Justin Fouche. We got a key, we went over a lot of the shoes, what it means to him. I know he's going to be there at So Good. He's going to have some of his collection on Soul, on September 6th. Um, are you going to bring in most of this? Some of it. The portion of it? I all these SPs? I, yeah, mostly SPs. I don't know if all this will fit in the... Uh, you bringing any of the SPs? Yeah, I'm probably bringing some of this stuff. Yeah, fuck yeah. We're in, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, the reason why I started Foosh was to build a community yeah. around cool shit. Yeah, I hear 38 that. shops been around for 15 years. Yes. Been doing this for a long time and it's nice to see sneaker collecting coming back around again. It's nice to educate, it's nice to and just be a part of the community. Like you guys can come in, we don't have to you guys don't have to buy anything. Just come and hang out. Yeah, yeah, shoot that. the shit. Yeah. 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 That's what we're about. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. Yeah, it's just it is what it is. And it's cool yeah. like the new guys like Jesse come, they come around they educate me now on like what is cool or what's hot, new brand. Yeah. And like and we ain't going anywhere. So yes. you know, we're always gonna carry cool sneakers, we're all gonna carry cool clothes and if you just wanna come down and hang out and chit chat, let's do it. We should shoot the shit with these guys. Yeah, I the first first. Swear, or no? What? Okay. So we look forward to seeing you guys there. We look forward to seeing you there. So Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Pleasure. Well. Thanks for that. Bring some cash! <laughs> Word. From me and everybody at the Soul Good team, thanks for tuning in to episode four and season one of YG Soul. We will have a second season coming up for you guys soon. Until then, we'll see you at Soul Good. Peace.